Communications New Regulatory Framework Amendment Bill be considered by the Commerce Com Committee. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Call on Government Order of the Day number four. Food Safety Law Reform Bill, Committee Stage. I declare the House in Committee for consideration of the Food Safety Law Reform Bill. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Members, the House and Committee on the Food Safety Law Reform Bill. Matt Ducey. Yeah, I seek leave that all parts of the Food Safety Law Reform Bill be debated as one question. Leave is sought for that purpose. Is there any objection? There appears to be none. Stand by. <laughs> Members, the House and yeah. The question is that parts one to four, schedules one and two, and clauses one and two stand part. The Honourable Damien O'Connor. Mr. Chairman. <coughs> Mr Chairman, thank you very much. And uh, it may indeed be the last opportunity I have to speak in the House. I'd just like to acknowledge the, uh, both the friendship and, and, I guess, the commitment to Parliament of the, of the Chairman. And uh, it's, uh, I'd like to say that. Mr Chairman, the farmers' friends have failed. <laughs> The National Party is bringing into the House in its last dying days a piece of legislation that is so important that should have been passed at least nine months ago, and I don't know why the government hasn't given it uh, greater priority, Mr Speaker. This is a piece of legislation that comes off the back of a major catastrophe for the dairy and the food industry in this country, Mr Speaker because it was a massive mistake made by us that undermined our international reputation and has cost us literally hundreds of millions of dollars in the international marketplace. Because Fonterra, for a short time, thankfully a short time, uh, was deemed to have sold offshore food that was dangerous, that could have been um, infected with botulism, Mr Speaker. Uh, as it turned out, that wasn't the case, thankfully. But the inability for the systems that the national government has overseen to properly test and clear that product meant that they, or Fonterra, rightfully took a precautionary approach, alerted the international marketplace, and for a couple of weeks, People thought that we were producing food that could have botulism in it, and it was absolutely disastrous for our international reputation. So there was an independent government inquiry that went through, Mr Chairman, um, and a report and recommendations that came from that. And this piece of legislation is the result of that. And I understand that we are debating all parts of it, and so it is fairly wide-ranging. I appreciate it, Mr Chairman. But um, clearly, the government's got a message from Crosby Texter that they should do something to make some at least token commitment to their friends uh, across the agricultural sector and at least progress this legislation one more step. Unfortunately, this parliament, having overseen this terrible situation, and the inquiry and the recommendations has failed to deliver the progress that that independent government inquiry recommended. Mr Speaker, and those people there, the former minister, the chair of the, uh, the primary production select committee that looked at this in a non-partisan way, made a few recommendations, but basically supported the legislation through as quickly as we could because we knew the importance of it, and the government sat on its hands and has not brought this legislation back to the House for at least five or six months. Mr Speaker, it's an outrage. And any farmer or any food producer in this country should be outraged that the government is not going to pass this legislation before this election. I can commit the incoming Labor government that we will progress this as quickly as possible because there wasn't too much political debate at all. I think the Select Committee looked 
and ask at, at the legislation carefully, asked the questions, Mr Chair, um, and, and I think made some minor adjustments to improve it. But generally, we all supported this through as quickly as possible. But the government did nothing. And they've now waited for a new minister to come in, and I acknowledge his efforts. He may have lobbied hard, or he may have been told by Crosby Dexter, you better do something here, because we've got to look after our mates. Uh, and whatever the reason, it's come back into Parliament in the second last night. No, it's the last night of the parliamentary sitting of the 51st Parliament in this country. It's an outrage, because it's not a little piece of legislation. There was a huge amount of effort gone into this, as I say, starting with the independent government inquiry and a whole list of recommendations that have effectively been put through into this legislation, Mr Speaker, and, and that the Labor Party certainly is prepared to endorse and support. But why has it come back in now? Why are we just going to have a token debate with, with literally 18 minutes to go for discussion when this should have been passed long ago. So I don't know what Fonterra or the other dairy industry companies or the rest of the food industry are saying to the national government, Mr Speaker, Mr Speaker, Mr Speaker, Mr. Speaker. but they should be outraged. And it's an indication of the flippant approach that this government has taken to food safety and to biosecurity from the time it came in. Remember, this is the government that came in in 2008 or 9. It chopped the biosecurity budget, it ignored food safety provisions, and allowed one after the other of, of botch-ups to occur to the point where we are no longer seen as the safest producer of food in the world, Mr Speaker. And I have to say that, that this inquiry identified some of the problems that we've had in the system. So I'm not going to speak for too much longer other than to say that the Labor Party will progress this legislation when we get to government in September the 24th, Mr Speaker, or a coalition government with our partners. And I'm sure that, that our, our, our prospective partners will endorse our position that this is an important piece of legislation that the National Party has sat on and not progressed for God knows what reason and now brought back in an order, almost order, insult. Order, I just remind the minister, the ex-minister, who's been here quite a long time, that uh, the committee stage is about debating the, um, the submissions made before the select committee, asking questions of the minister, or speaking to supplementary order papers. He's doing a very good stump speech at the moment, but it's not required within this debate. It could look, a, if tarted up, look a little bit like a first, second or third reading speech. It sure as eggs does not look like a committee stage contribution. I appreciate the advice from the chair and, and, and um, it's probably the last bit he'll be able to give me, but um, I, I'll, 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 I'll take it on board uh, for the wisdom that it comes with. And, and Mr Speaker, um, it, it does, the piece of legislation, as I say, is significant. It amends um, Animal Products Act, the Food Act, and the Wine Act, the last one of which will be concerned for all members in the House, um, that is that it, it does move to put in place a more robust and secure food safety regime. Mr Speaker, can I put on record that when the Labor-led government progresses this legislation, we'll be working on having an independent food safety authority or equivalent as we will with a biosecurity agency or equipment. No, you can't really, because it doesn't Mr. conform Mr. Speaker, to the Speaker, because, because we believe that the government's oversight, seen by the late reintroduction in committee stages of this piece of legislation, Mr Speaker, that their lax approach will be changed, we'll focus on this, we will progress this legislation, and I'm sorry to say that we won't have it passed before this parliament lifts uh, tomorrow. Richard Crosser. Thank you, Mr Chair. Mr Chair, um, before I...